look nice. What you got here, bud? Well, this is soon gonna be in here. And we're gonna install some rod holders on Priscilla, baby? Yeah, finally. It's Come on, good. man. Two of the same ones, right? Yes, sir. I got the screws. I got some of this stuff here. Hopefully that's the right stuff. Yeah. Yep, yeah. sweet. Hopefully there's enough room. There's enough room. Yeah, buddy. So do you have hole saws? No, I don't have that. Hole saw? Come on, man, I'm a, I'm a simple boy. Simple boy. I don't know what a hole saw is. I got a is. knife. I got, I got a fillet knife. That's about what I got. And I got some rod holders. And we're going to do this. Guys, we, we've been um, we've been dealing with uh, the, the, the phenomenon of not having rod holders on Priscilla. I, was, I almost finished them out of DC like three or four times. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna do away with that. Eventually, we'll get some rod holders on the back too, some reinforced stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna do the platform, but for today, Fast Freddy's gonna help us get these bad boys done in here. Oh, that's a hole, so. <laughs> yeah, guys, I, I'll say this in every video. I am not an expert at anything, so all these little how-to things are people that are blessing me with just just showing me how to. How do you install a rod holder? I asked him. Figure it out. I asked my dad on the way, and he's like, I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. We're just, we're just here, and we're going to figure it out. So what I'm thinking is, if it could be like a little bit of an angle that way. So it's tracking backwards. So it's tracking a little backwards, like out, and a little bit backwards. Okay, so basically like that? Kind of, yeah, kind of like that. So that way we're, we're, we can slow troll some stuff. It's going to be sweet. Huh? Turpin. Turpin snook. But bro, we could even be out. You know what I hate though? What, are you, what do you hate? I think this is big enough. Like, like when rod holders aren't big enough to fit the butt of your rod. Well, I no, I think, I think we're good on this. It's got a gimbal down there. Whoa, so, man. down the bottom. See the gimbal? Oh, oh yeah. That's where the the rod the rod with the yeah. metal thing on the bottom it locks in. So yeah, so when we're slow trolling, we do a lot of stuff in the freshwater, guys. And when we're slow trolling, I like to be able to go out while Lorenzo's in school and fish. And I can be out here by myself, and and I can just troll two rods with live shiners, and just put the rods one here, one there, and just slow troll them right off the back, and I'll run the trolling motor that and. Is so is it really? That is so wrong. Is it though? It is. Oh, uh, well, you know, I don't think it's wrong. Let's see. So this is just... This is just glass underneath here, right? It's yeah, it's, like it little... feels like it's got foam or wood or something underneath there as well. Probably, you probably can feel, You can feel a step. Yep. So I don't know exactly what it is. Once we drill it out, we'll see exactly what it is. All right, well, we're gonna find out what what's our boat made out of. We're gonna find out a little piece because uh, this platform up here, um, we put this thing in as a <laughs> so get it is, Yeah, but we put this in as a temporary fix because uh, it started to crack right here from the pressure. Hi guys. Uh, it started to crack right here from the pressure. So we put this in as a temporary brace so that we can stand up here without worrying about it. Um, but there definitely is something reinforced up here. This has had some work done on it. So we're gonna find out what is actually underneath there. So what are we doing here oh, no. now? So we're gonna make a small hole. Oh, oh. Making a, our boat holy. And we're going to match the angle of the rod holder. Ah. Look at that. Matching the angle. So you got to drill at the right angle. <laughs> got it. Just, you just make a, yeah. a, a round circle. This is... It's, it's not it's going to sit flush. flat. It's going to be beveled. The hole has to be beveled. So yes. that way it slides in. Now you're going to have to grind and grind and grind to make it fit. Got it. Oh, more grinding here. Man, oh man, oh man.
And if you need help, Lorenzo is well more than willing. Yeah, it's made of wood. It's, got it's wood inside. Wood. It's got a piece of wood in there. Got it. I find that so hard. What to help? No, to drilling it to drill in your boat. Come on, man. We were gonna. We were about ready this to redo is, this, this whole thing. This is an okay thing. spot to drill. You don't want to drill like the bottom of the boat or yeah. the transom because water's gonna come in here. It don't matter. <laughs> You're good. You're good there. Oh, now we're talking. That's a hole saw. That doesn't hurt you. Dude, just our boat is holy. <laughs> oh my gosh. That doesn't hurt you just a It doesn't. No, you know why? Because I can see, I can envision the future of what's going there. <laughs> what's going there is going to enhance, greatly enhance our fishing capabilities yeah. with a rod holder. I can see a vision. I love how we're making such a big deal out of a rod holder. But uh, here's the thing. I, you know, people are like, well, I see this thing. I can buy it in a store. But, like, how the heck do I install it on my boat? I'm wondering that. So, Fast Freddy's helping us out. We're figuring it out right now. It doesn't hurt because he trusts me. I trust. He trusts me like a doctor. I'm the boat doctor. <laughs> a boat doctor. That's it. There it is. See? That, that is one. Oh, look at that. Let's, let me see that. That's it. That's what our little thing was was made out of up here wow. that is a cool tool i gotta say lorenzo do you want that yeah. you want a piece of want a earring you want to make an earring out of your out of your boat I wonder how old this one is. All right. Uh, how old is the boat? When was the boat made? Well, it was, it was, um. Wow, just boat. like that. Just like that. What? That was quick. And all we need to do is screw it. Where's the easy button? Yeah, now we got to, you know, make pilot holes for the screw. Uh -huh. And then we put glue. Bye-bye. See you later. That's it? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's easy. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Drill a hole in your boat, screw it, glue it, done. <laughs> glue it, screw it, done. Pretty much. Wow. Love the it. The biggest thing is matching the angle. A lot of people don't know that mm -hmm. you're supposed to do that. So you're it. supposed to drill at the angle. Got it. That makes sense. That makes, it that makes a lot of sense. Now that we know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I brought self tappers. At least that's what the guy at the West Marine told me they were. These are a little long. I mean. Are they going to go all the way through? They'll go all the, th all the way through. My concern is that. You know, if you put your hand in here, you might get cut. Cut. Okay. So see, I, th I might have some just a little bit shorter. You messed it up again, Daddy. Of course I mess up. That's like when Mommy sends me to the store to get something <laughs> at Publix. I always come home. It, it's it's in the right genre. Guys. Please. <laughs> guys, so when, when Noemi sends me to the store to get something, um, I always do okay. In my opinion, I do okay. It would be acceptable for me. Because I always bring home something that's in the, in the right genre. But what winds up happening is it's not exactly the thing that she wanted. So I wind up going back to the store. Well, um, these screws are in the right genre. Self-tapping marine screws, but a little too long. So Fast Freddy may have some shorter screws. Or maybe... We just use the long ones. I don't, yeah. Well, we, we might what? just get Wait. scratched. We reach underneath. No. So what he's saying is, if we drill these in, I drilled my boat. Well, Freddie drilled my boat. And then the screw is hanging off off the bottom. We might get our hands chopped a little bit. So that wouldn't be good. But we'll see what happens. We might be able to. Oh my yeah. goodness. Oh. Um, a tackle box of screws, nuts, and bolts. So oh my see. goodness! I don't have any self tappers there. Yeah. No. That, but I do have these quarter twenties that are flat instead of oval that okay. we could use, and then we could put a nut behind it and have nuts. That works. It'll be more secure. Okay. And the self tappers. This you can use for something else on the boat. All right. Or return them and get your money back. Okay. Well, I'm sure there'll be something else to use them for. Maybe. 
Or I could just start collecting a tackle box full of screws like Freddie has. You can here. never have enough stainless steel hardware, especially <laughs> for a boat. If you're going to be into boats, having stainless steel hardware. That's a, that's, a, that's a must. So I'm sure at one point or another, is that what these are? Those are self-tappers, yeah. Okay. But like, see, all the ones that I have that are over are way too long and these are Damn. too thin. I wanted to use the same size as a quarter 20 so you have more of a bite. Yeah, you need bite. Especially if a Wahoo rips this out. <laughs> I love how you dream. I don't think it's going to rip it out. I no. Think. Well, I mean, if a Wahoo rips a bait, you got to have... Remember, you got drag on there. The drag's not going to be locked 100% because you'll pop the line. So right. It's going to pull the drag. Got it. So it should be fine. At least we'll hope that Lorenzo sets his drag right. Yeah, Lorenzo, don't forget that. Don't forget to set your drag, dude. And now it's on my face. Of course it is. That's that's how it works, man. It rolls downhill. <laughs> Go from the captain to shipmate to the paying customer. <laughs> that's how it goes, man. And then, if anything, we blame the banana that's on board. That's it. That's why we bring a banana. We always have a scapegoat. Scape scapegoat. Always have a scapegoat. No, that's for the rod holder. The screws are going to go straight up and down. Okay, so it doesn't right. matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Right, so the screws, the screws go straight up okay. and down. It's just this guy, the rod holder itself goes at an angle, so the big hole needs to be cut at an angle. Or so we think. Well, no, it makes sense. I mean, I'm not like Mr. Geometry or anything, <laughs> but uh, it does make sense. So. Don't really have to do this, but I just... Threading the glass. Yeah, so that way it's um, even tighter on there. Oh, yeah. So, and do we put, like, some kind of silicone in the screws as we put them in or no? No, you don't need to. You don't need to. Okay. I just want to have one in place and then so it doesn't move on me, drill yep. out the other holes. Got it. Oh, man, it's already... Which one do you think hits harder? A like a 150-pound tarpon or a Wahoo? <laughs> harder? I'm going to go Wahoo. Yeah, I mean, Wahoo I mean, is faster. the fastest fish in the sea, isn't it? Uh, uh sailfish. I, I believe really? sailfish is. Yeah. Sailfish. Is sailfish is the fast. I think they don't. I don't think they hit as hard as Wahoo, but as far as like top oh, end oh, speeds, top end speeds, sailfish. Is fast. But actually, blue marlin is actually faster than sailfish. Like. Yeah. We don't have to worry about that here, though. <laughs> No, we don't have to maybe. worry about that here. Lamarlin, no, selfish, maybe. Right? What's that? Lamarlin, no, selfish, maybe. Selfish, definitely. Yeah, selfish we will catch is. a sailfish on this boat. And on that boat. And on that boat. Boom! It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So... Plenty of glue. Plenty of glue. All right. So this is the the glue, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. So this just gives you the extra love you need. That's there. Oh, you know what I didn't bring? I did not bring the um, mineral spirits. Come on, man. I know. I'm dealing with a rookie over here. Absolutely. You got these people? Rookie! <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Mahomes was a rookie last year. Yeah. Well, he got spanked this year. But... Yes, he did. <laughs> by the old man. By the goat. The old he man. got spanked by the goat, man. By what the 43-year-old. Come on, man. <laughs> Supposed to be a young man's game. <laughs> Not this year. Got spanked or, by the goat. Or 10 years ago. Oh my goodness. That's right. the Super Bowl too many Here times. Here we go. No matter what team he's on. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. Yum yum. Looks like with cream. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. 
but like, different. Yes. Oh Something like that, but different. Do the honor. Come on, Lorenzo, do it, baby. Just drive, drive this one in first. Get a little pressure behind it. Okay. Go straight down. Bam. Good. Good. <laughs> How's nice. that feel? Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. There you go. Nice. That's my nice. boy right there. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Teaching the young pup. Like he's done it a hundred times. So or, now, or three. What you're going to do is. Lorenzo, come on. Huh? You're gonna okay. go up underneath. You're gonna put one washer okay. and one nut. So you okay. put the washer on first, yeah. and then the nut goes on. Uh, I'm gonna grab, I think I have rags and then I'll So the washer. So uh, the, the washer. Yeah, I get it. You got it? The washer goes on first, and then the nut goes on th this side, this side first, on, on each of those screws. I put it in. Just put the washer on first, and then. Come on, come on. Oh, right now? Yeah, right now. Here, come on down. Lay, lay down, lay down. There you go. Come on. There's glue. Yeah, you put the washer on. Oh, uh, it, it doesn't fit because of the rod holder. Of what the, do you mean? Of the angle of the rod holder with the screw. It doesn't fit? No. What do you mean? Wait, do you want it to go all the way up? It's not going to go all the way up because it's got nylon on the back. Just get it on there, and then I'll give you a tool to drive it up. I know, but it's like the, this one right here is because of the how the how this is angled, it won't, the washer won't fit up. Let me see. Okay. Oh, then put it without the washer. Okay. If the washer doesn't fit, then it's okay. Just put it with the nut, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Get it all the way up there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as far as I can go. I like this. Mm -hmm. I didn't get used to this. Look at that. Look we at have that. a rod holder. We have a rod holder. Reinforce it now. Solid. That ain't going nowhere. All right, Freddie's going to put the first rod in. <laughs> Look at that. Yes! Oh, oh come on, I'm man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be fighting that uh, Goliath grouper from right there, buddy. That's it, man. <laughs> Come on, dude. You're gonna right. use use marine gray. So, so this wood right here has started to rot a little bit. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's a little soft. Which that that's why this thing cracked. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why they put the brace. There. That's why I, I why well, put the brace oh, there. Okay. Because if we were up here and this is a seat. It was just flexing. And all of a sudden, it, no, all of a sudden we heard and was like, uh oh. That's not good. That can't be that, good. That can't be good. <laughs> I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert or nothing. I'm no boat. I'm not I'm no Gilligan. I'm no Midnight here. Express, but uh but I think that's it. Yeah, so we had to put a brace in there and goodness. So what what do we do, man? What's more well, here? There's really He's nothing we can do for this. No. <laughs> I can fill it with fifty two just to help kind of glue this together. Right. And then on this screw, I'm not gonna weld on it. I'm just gonna, you know, have it tight. Right. And that's it. Is it is it decent over here? Yeah, over there. There's wood over here. There's okay. wood over here. Okay. But it's just this one over here. That one over there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We won't fight no Goliath grouper on this one. That's the disclaimer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is the disclaimer. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna fight no Goliath grouper over here. No, 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 no. Right, Goliath grouper is on the left. Goliath side. grouper on the left. Yellow tails. Yellow on tails the, on the on right. The starboard side. <laughs> <laughs> gotta have some fun, you know that. We will have fun. Have we will have some fun. Yes, sir. I'm not gonna do it by myself. <laughs> well, when let's see. You. So we're gonna put some of this that. stuff inside that gap. Yeah. Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah. And just kind of bind it together. We're yeah. not doing that on this boat. <laughs> Why not? Well, I would die. You gonna bit me the top? You'll be fine from the sun. No, I would die to do that, but my dad would know. I'm, I'm pretty. Safe. Yeah, I'm that pretty conservative. <laughs> He's the mom of this boat. Because right? <laughs> he doesn't want it to sink. That's right. Yeah, I almost died out there. I was just talking yeah. about it. After that, I, I learned my mm -hmm. lesson. How long were you out there? 
Huh? It's long enough. Long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me about the time. <laughs> long enough. Long enough. Long enough. Those guys was almost dying out there. Two guys they were almost dying. And then, Bob, we, we're not going to make it. I said, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> take it easy. Bob. Fish are biting. Take hey, it easy. <laughs> Fish are biting. Guys. Keep bringing them in. Don't worry about how we're going to get back. <laughs> and, and, and that area was very good fishing. Too. Was it? Yeah. It's funny, I saw a picture, I saw a meme today that says, if 2020 was a fishing trip, has a picture of Quint, Captain Brody, or Brody, Chief Brody, and, uh, <laughs> if 2020 was a fishing trip. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Just slosh it on in. Look how nice it makes it, It makes it pretty. Got it. Still made by the same company. No, what do you do that? I'm putting threads into the glass just so the screw has something else to bite onto besides the nut. If the Wahoo decides to hit, hit the yellowtail rod. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's right. Man, you do that slow. So is that good? Better to do it slower than fast? No, it's just there's no really no need to wear on it. Right? Yeah, don't mess up the thread. And we're gonna back it up because you're gonna put the nut on. So okay. Go Bam. to work. Go to work. <laughs> Get down there, boy. <laughs> this ain't a free trip, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're just you're just hitting that with what? That's mineral. mineral spirits. Yeah, to dissolve the glue and it's around and cleaning it up, yeah. You can use soap and water, but with this 5200, since it, it tends to start to dry rather quickly yep. and get tacky, it makes more of a mess. That mineral spirit kind of like dissolves it and it's easier to clean up, in my Got opinion. It. How fast does it dry? Seven, seven uh, hours. This one, yeah, this one's about eight or nine hours. It's fully cured. That's the shiniest thing on the boat, man. That is, man. That thing is shiny. <laughs> woo, woo. Come on. Oh, yeah, make, All it, right. make it another rod so you can get a good test. Yeah, here's the test. Let's put this guy in the gimbal. All right, now hold on, watch out, watch out. This this still good? No. No. All right, so here's what I'm going to do, guys. Lorenzo, go up, go up there. Stay in the journal. Yeah. Yeah, Lorenzo, pull on the other side. Well, that's, that's kind of what I'm looking at right there. So you're seeing how, yeah, yeah. You're seeing how it's bending a little bit? Well, oh, no. Preferably not. Preferably not. That's just the deck. I mean, but that's it is what it is. Yeah. So. Does the guy want to do it too? Oh, we're on, we're on, we're on. <laughs> we're on, we're on, we're on. We're on. Wait. Wait. Wait, what? Just reel, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Reel me in. <laughs> reel me in. Yeah, boys. It's a marlin. <laughs> that's your wahoo right there. The big one too. That's your wa yeah. That's a two hundred pound wahoo. I got a little bit of love handle wahoo going actually going on there. Oh yeah, that one's doesn't move as much as not nearly as much. Alright. Well see guys, that's that's our Goliath grouper rod holder right there, guys. That's the Goliath grouper rod holder right there. This is a yellowtail rod holder. Oh yeah. Yeah. We could, we could definitely do a little bit more reinforcing here. Maybe one day we'll redo our front platform, but until then, yeah, okay. uh, we we are we are set up. We're not we're definitely not gonna like be locking in the Goliath group from that rod holder, but we're not. Well, we'll see. But the back is next, guys. We're gonna put we're gonna do a, a platform back here and redo this entire back, and we'll we'll get some nice reinforced rod holders back here. Uh, that's where we're gonna be trolling our planers from. So, all right, Lorenzo, take a sip. I'm oh, so good. This is. The Costa Rica magic right there. Pura vida. Apparently. Con a coqui. Come on, baby. Apparently everything in Costa Rica tastes good. Yeah, Costa Rica is nectar. This is nectar. This is a guava juice that Freddie made. Freddie and Jessica made from their tree. Gosh, man. Freddie's the man. Appreciate that. Here we go. Watch that.